Hello lovely people. This is at the tea shop. And at the tea shop is still for everybody and anybody. I have here with me Mr. Romanos who is a health practitioner. Believe me, it is late. It is almost 10 p.m. But I had to drag him from bed for us to have a chit chat <laughs> for a few minutes. And I hope you are not annoyed yourself. Mr. Romanus. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you at this late hour. Too. No, on the program at the tea shop. At the tea shop. At sure. the tea shop. It's really a tea shop. As you can see, I'm having my tea. This is lemon tea. Tell them this yeah. is the first time you are having my lemon tea. My first time. My first time. <laughs> my first time. <laughs> Straight uh, ahead to the reason why I have dragged you from bed. <laughs> my question to you is so simple. Okay. If you have gone through experiences, over the years and these experiences has built a concept in your life that since you started practicing that concept it has been a positive thing for you and for that reason you would like to share with our viewers the ball is in your court at oh. the tea shop this is the program at the tea shop on time with joe thank you once again it's a pleasure having me in your show well uh first of all i would like to say this i i met with an elderly person today and she gave me one brilliant advice a kind of reminder you know most people they don't take it serious but what she told me is that yeah. whatever you are to do in life you know she said we should always take it serious whatever you are to do in life yeah you yeah. should always take it take, serious. Take it serious. Yeah. So, is it whether yeah. positive or negative, a good thing or a bad thing, or whatever good that comes into your mind that you decide to take action upon, you must do it and do it well. Yeah, diligently. Diligently. Yeah, because you don't know what this might uh, land you into. Okay. Because uh, there are some people that. Whatever they are doing, they don't take it serious in life, you know. Okay. Yeah, so, at, and at the end, they end up regretting. Oh, bring it, don't worry. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Do you care for uh, a lemon tea? No, this is okay for me. Sure. Yeah, thank oh, you. It's, it's, it's cold. Yeah, they can bring one more if that's fine. Sure. So, I would like to share with you people what I termed, uh mistrust. Mistrust. Mist yeah. Mistrust. Mistrust. It's all about you uh, trusting people whom you care so much about them. And at the end, they, they put you in a mess or they make you regret in a way that you've made up your mind. I, for one, uh, difficult for me to trust people again in this society. Well, so I... I I want us to build the case from this point. Yeah. Because the question was, what experience have you gone through, or experiences have you gone through that has helped you to come out with a particular concept? Now, what you've started to say is, you have been through a situation or situations whereby you built trust for people, and these people ended up making you to rather mistrust them yeah so you are speaking about an experience of trust ending up for you to have the concept of mistrust yeah mistrust okay. yeah yeah so life is not uh, easy and it is as well difficult to meet uh, people that uh, can really trust you in this society we are working on the way but you don't know who can be uh, let me say your angel or your guidance you don't know who can hold your hand but if you meet that one right foot person okay. and the person decide to give you that breast based on the situation that you presented to that person you should not uh, take it for granted okay. yeah for my side, I think it has been very, very difficult for me because I am an open person, first of all. So I've come uh, in contact with 
so many people in so dif so many different instances where they really needed my help you know they really needed my help they need everything you know it can be financially it can be you know uh, spiritually it can be morally but if you yeah. say spiritual what do you mean because i believe when you said it could be financially it could be spiritually uh it, likewise me in as much as someone might say okay through prayers or whatsoever can you elaborate on what yeah, you mean yeah, by spiritual? yeah thank you when 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 i when i said about spiritual you know it's not everything that people uh uh we 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 loved uh, we love to take from you right okay but i i think uh, there are some people that uh see things before it happens and it is only when you have been in that situation before you can realize that hey so what this person said to me it has come to pass in my life and had i know i wouldn't have uh uh throw away his his words you know okay. i would have trusted him his words and i am i'll be very careful like i said before uh, in the beginning that whatever you are doing whatever you are doing like uh what uh an elderly person told me i should take it very very serious because you don't know what that thing may might land you into okay yeah so it, it like what i say in terms of a spiritual it can be prayer yeah you know it can be worth of wisdom you know yeah so if i'm sometimes if, sometimes yeah. you ah that reminds me i had a dream about a friend that i need to call that friend <laughs> yeah I, wow. I think yeah sure <laughs> i need to call that friend yeah so it, something like this sometimes we do have dreams about people and uh, we have to tell them yeah what the dream is about That's but it. in in a case of this i think how can you feel hurt in the in relating like relating it to spirituality because if i should tell you something based on word of knowledge yeah and that thing should come to pass i think oh it, and you didn't make a move and that thing happened to you i believe you shouldn't feel hurt in a form of being uh your words not being valuable to the person but in that case you should really feel bad or sad for the person going through that situation uh, other than let's say a, a scenario whereby someone needed financial assistance and you ended up lending lending the money to someone who the person was supposed to give you the money within a time a time frame the time frame has exceeded now you just try to reach the person you don't get the person yeah yeah i think this something like this can lead to mistrust but i'm a bit confused with the spiritual affiliation you added to this well this uh when, when it's when when i spoke of spiritual affiliation uh what i'm trying to say is that uh <clears throat> if you've uh seen somebody getting into trouble mm. and you tell that person oh look brother sister what you are doing or where you are going it will not be well with you and this is what i'm telling you just like a revolution please you should be careful or don't do it don't engage in it and later on this person oh not taking your words seriously and tomorrow you know whatsoever happened to that person yeah i know it's like okay this person it is his problem yeah it doesn't concern you but you have tried your best to voice it out to let the person know the dangers that are ahead but it still come back to you because you know if this thing happened to this person that i know it will be like so no matter whatever i've been telling this person this person doesn't trust me like you you take my word for granted and look at what uh, has happened to you so it will really affect me and i i i but find no, I like, I like I, very I, I, okay <laughs> i like to ask yeah. questions a lot yeah sure because <laughs> it is not just about sharing your thoughts or ideas then i'll let you go like that yeah no because, that's right <laughs> yeah we all need to understand <laughs> yeah to the depths of of whatever we are communicating on okay because are you saying you told that person 
that information because you trusted the person. So if you never trusted the person, were you not going to tell the person, please, uh, this thing you are doing, or this act you are acting, this activity you are into, it's not good because I have seen this, or I can see, I feel that something weird is going to happen to you, which is not a good thing. Do you need to trust someone before you even voice out like this to that person? Well, uh, we don't need to trust people before we, we tell them the dangers that are with them. Mm -hmm. And it comes with love. Okay. Yeah, before we can share sure. whatever uh, is about to happen to someone. Like, relating to trust, if I don't really feel you, I will not be able to tell you whatever you are. It, it's about to happen. It's just like uh, me lending money to somebody because that is another instance in which I have come across. And if okay. I don't love you, if I don't trust you, telling you this thing, it will mean nothing to me. If I don't love you, I cannot give you money. If I don't trust you, I cannot give you money. So to you, you mean to even make a step to advise somebody? or to alert some, someone on, on a dangerous ground or on a dangerous uh, activity that a fellow might be treading upon, whether knowingly or unknowingly to that person, that awareness you, you are creating must, must originate out of love and out of trust. That's what you mean. Yeah. We live in a world where most people they don't care about uh, their brothers or their sisters. Okay. You are all it for yourself. Yeah. So, if I'm able to uh, look at Bye. you... Bye. And I tell sorry, you... Sorry, yeah. I just need one more thing for you. <coughs> Captain! Viewers, we are, viewers, we are out, <laughs> uh, you know. Outside yeah. is getting rotted. It's, it's, get, it's getting cold. Your brother's tea is cold. One more lemon mm -hmm. tea. Yeah. Sure. Thank you for understanding that on time with you, everything <laughs> goes. I, I keep telling you, it is a raw <laughs> platform. That's just by the way. So, right now, we live in a society where it's challenging to help somebody mm -hmm. or to talk to somebody, especially stranger. Okay. Or even if it is your loved one, it's difficult because people are so isolated. They are so uh, into themselves. They don't like to share or they don't like to talk, yeah, to speak to other people. But to me, like I said, I'm a kind of open person. And if truly, therefore, I see you and I foresee something, might be like spiritually or let me say if i see an opportunity that is coming your way and i have the means to do that definitely i'll do it without hesitation but it's embarrassing if what i'm telling you and you're not taking it seriously and they think what i'm saying it come to pass it will really affect me because I was like, oh, in my mentality, in my yeah, in my psyche, I'll say, so this person, so you doesn't trust me. I was telling you this thing, and you're taking it for for granted. Okay. For myself personally, it will kind of hurt me. So I would like say that, oh, so definitely people they don't really trust. They mistrust people, like your words they're giving you, and you're taking it for granted. So that's why I kind of relating it with uh, the spiritual aspect of it. Okay. Yeah. Also, we are within the sector of the spirit, spiritual aspect. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm sure we are going to come back to this. We have to sit here again. <laughs> yeah, sure. And have a part two discussion of, of, of this. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> now, if you should say... Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank sir. you. <laughs> if, Thank if, you. Most welcome, brother. <laughs> I think we need to... We need to empty these ones. Okay, now, what I'm thinking to know now is how do you said in case you see something about the person and you, 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 you have to tell the person, that seeing, what are some of the ways you, you spiritually see something about someone? 
Well, uh, I would like to tell you that uh, there are various potentials that people do have in this life. Okay. And it is not like I will get up in the morning or I said I dream about you or I, yeah, and I'm able to tell you this thing. The first thing is you look at people as you are moving on your way, your spirit directly relates with them. Yeah, I don't know if you felt it before. There can be hundreds of people coming your way, but you decide to greet just one or to say good morning, say hello to one person. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, I understand you. You see, uh, the viewers are, are, are people with billions <laughs> of concepts. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, so that is why it is about you, what, what you feel, what you know. Not what actually everybody thinks it is, That's but it. you are sharing your experience. Yeah. So that is what yeah. I would also like the yeah. viewers to understand. You can please continue. So it is difficult, you know, to uh, to meet that one person that you can really say, yeah. And there are a lot of people that they just wish, you know, somebody to identify that potential in them. You know, you can be their, their messiah, you know, you can you can be an icon in their life, you know. They, they can appreciate you maybe tomorrow or in another way, you know, just by you telling them that, oh, I, I one way this person, you know, I met this person and this person told me this thing and this is the result that I'm having out of it. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. When divinely you should tell some someone something about himself or herself and the person works on that thing and the thing worked for the person probably you bumped into someone yeah and like you said divinely you should tell the person uh, i don't know but i i feel you to be someone who if you should venture into import an export of goods <laughs> yeah you are going to blow <laughs> like you, you are going to be successful wow <laughs> and you followed up on each other uh -huh. let's say about two years <clears> or <throat> oh, in less than a year this person had adhered to your word yeah. the person made it mm -hmm. became successful but after becoming successful you were neglected along the line what do you think can wow. that also be <laughs> termed as mistrust to you? Well, I cannot really say that that can be a kind of mistrust because, uh, you know, people, they have their own different way of saying things. Okay. It is not everybody that uh, you will do good for the person and the person will come back to tell you thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's so what difficult. what what becomes what becomes your satisfaction? Mm -hmm. is, is your satisfaction the, the the fact that you told the fellow that thing, and the fellow acted upon it, and it yielded result? That becomes your satisfaction. Yeah, that's right. Like you said, my satisfaction is when I see you happy after after telling you something and you take it into action okay and the, the result is good okay the same scenario you, you told the person the person didn't follow up yeah you exchange contact you've been following up on each other mm, yeah, the person keeps right. telling you i will do it i'm planning on doing it there are opportunities that comes the person's way let's say financially the person can do it but the person seems not to be showing much interest and be giving excuses. Yeah. Can that also lead to a mistrust? To you? To me, I think that can be like a mistrust because I just want to let you know that uh, uh, for, the, for the past few years, I've been guiding people, I've been coaching people, and I've been mentoring people. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position of... Uh, opportunities because i do a lot of research which i try to see loopholes if even though these things they might not benefit me I, I i don't care whosoever i'm sharing this opportunity with but if 
I can come to you and you say that, hey, hey, bro, Jonathan, I, there's, there's this thing that I, I came across and I think it's very, very good. Okay. What do you think about it? If you engage into it, it will be a very good uh, benefit for you, you know? And you look at me, you say that, oh, I'm not interested, you know? But you are in the same position you, or the same spot, you know? You are just moving around, moving around. You're not uh, progressing. but. This is an opportunity that which, hadn't been, you would have taken it earlier ago. It was, it would have changed you from the position where you are or the things that you are doing currently. But if you are not taking this thing, and you know, I'm kind of like, does it mean this person doesn't trust me when I'm saying this thing? You are like a kind of, you know, okay. the word, okay. the, the things uh, are I'm not beginning to care. understand your concept to mistrust. So, initially, whatever to you, whatever is done out of love has trust affiliated with it. That's what you're saying. Because with the outcome, the negative outcome of something you did out of, out of love becomes mistrust. That, that's what you are saying. That's right. Yeah. 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 The negative yeah. outcome yeah. of the love you exerted into something becomes mistrust. Yeah. Because once the love goes before, it's expecting it to grow, that thing to grow. What is the growth there? The growth there is the the follow up on what you have started in the person's life. Like you said, you're a coach to people. Yeah. You coach people, yeah. giving them the directions as to as to what they have to do, what they need not to do. Yeah. Because we all need coaches in our lives. Yeah, so obviously. it is true. <laughs> yeah, it is something that we need. But it, some people, you know, the world is vast, and there are a lot of people with so many concepts. So it becomes. I personally, I'm still trying to think and. That is why this platform is also there, so that we can be able to know how people think, how people see things, their concept to life. But they are diverse. See, there are so many diverse understandings to one common thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Believe me. We all have different ideologies. No. Different <laughs> ideologies. And I, I am happy you've shared your point of view when it comes to mistrust. So I, I, you have made me to learn today that, fine, correcting someone even is done out of love. And that is true. But there is a bit of trust into correcting the person. And this is where it is. You are correcting the person because you trust the person that he or she is going to do what? Act, act upon those it. words. Yeah. Because I know people go, go, do go for consultations. Yeah. And they pay for it. They pay for it. Yes. If so I, for, for someone to give you a direct and accurate consultation to your life, which is stopping you from roaming about, not knowing the exact thing to do in your life, you should rather appreciate the person, trust the person, and make the person proud of you yeah. than paying the person back with the attitude of ne neglecting. Yeah. Neglecting the exact words you have been spoken with. Uh, we don't expect, expect everybody to agree with us on whatever we discuss. But like I say, if you really also have something to share on a particular discussion we have, the comment section is there at any time. Just let us know. We will invite you. If you are far and not near, we can have your video and we would edit it, add it to the program and play it for everybody to also have the, the, the opportunity to listen to you. We would like to wrap up. Well, uh, fellow viewers, I, I just want to say it's a pleasure of me sharing this uh, thought of mine with you. So, like what I said, there are different instances out there which we do uh, trust people and, you know, at the end, they make us feel like, no, what we're doing is not the best. Yeah, it can be financially, you know, yeah, morally, like I said, okay? I know they're different. Like I said, uh, also, there are 
a lot of instances which I've come across, you know, giving all my best to people and the, the, the result is not always the best. Yeah, so if you're out there, you're a kind of person like me, uh, I don't know because I, I, I for one, I'm trying to give up, to isolate myself, uh, not to do what I've been doing again to like patronizing people seeing they motivated you know there are a lot of people that they are going down they don't they don't want to initiate themselves in certain things and most importantly money issue many issue uh, if someone uh, decides to trust you with money please do not take it for granted do not make that person regret do not make that person feel like you don't worth it okay and Secondly, credentials. You know, there are a lot of people out there that they are using people credentials for, for granted. I, if I really trust you, I am passing valuable uh, information to you uh, through uh, secret documents, like I can say credentials, you should take it very, very serious and do not uh, neglect such opportunity because uh, this opportunity can take you in a higher uh, position or in a higher place where you've never expected to be there. Thank you so much once again, uh, Jonathan, for <laughs> giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts in uh, uh, the coffee shop. Well, it's a pleasure. I have learned something and I would like to do this. What I would like to do now is looking straight into the camera to you, <laughs> who is watching me and listening to me i'm human there are so many mistakes in my life that i wish i have never had done them but they have been done i would like to say sorry to whoever i have made to have a mistrust in me people who had trusted me and later lost that trust because there are people that might have lost trust in you and you will not know. Yeah. They, they do their best not to tell you, but they will be smiling with you and they will be behaving normal with you, but you will not know. So, to those that I may know and to those that I may not, I want to use today's meeting and, and the, this discussion and what I have learned to say that I'm sincerely sorry. I'm ready to amend myself <laughs> and all the mistakes I have grown from them. Find a place in your heart and forgive me. And to whoever also I trusted and you have done something for me to mistrust you, I'm going deep within me to say, let us rekindle the trust because we can do it.